before we get started, I'm gonna have to readjust my hair. Oh my Been gosh. there, done that. It's That's weird. the benefit of me losing all my hair, is I don't have to worry about it. It just kind of sticks there now. Hey everybody, I'm Cole Kennedy and we're doing Carpool Conversations with Cole. And this is going to be a recurring segment that we're going to do. We're going to find out some interesting stuff and this version is going to be air quality awareness. So, hey everybody, how are we? Doing great. Hello. Good. Who we got in the car today? I'm Eddie Terrell, I'm the Air Quality Division Director. Alright, Eddie. I'm Beverly Botchlet smith and I'm the Air Quality Assistant Division Director. Alright, so where are we carpooling to today? Oh, we've got that meeting. Where's that meeting at, Eddie? Uh, somewhere on Western. Are we Goo Goo Doll fans? Yeah, I'm not a big Goo Goo Doll uh, fan. I'll listen to it if it's on there. Well, no, I won't. I'll change it. Oh! Gotta listen to it. Gonna let it slide. Alright, alright. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> what kind of presentation we got going today? We're gonna talk about ozone, of course. Ozone, alright. Because ozone season started March 1st. Whoa, March yeah. 1st. So it's already in full swing then. What is ozone? Ozone is uh, uh, a colorless, odorless gas that can be bad for asthmatics, um, older people, young people. Uh, okay. it's, a, it's a lung irritant. I've seen some alerts that came across my email. Yes, we encourage um, everyone to sign up. Go to our website to sign up for our ozone alerts and advisories. Well, that's an excellent little service that DEQ provides. I have a great idea. Yep. If you know a coffee shop up here anywhere, maybe we could pull in and grab some coffee that we can take to this meeting. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll just whip right in through the drive through there and uh, I'll grab you guys' order. Oh, let's not go through the drive through car is going to be idling and an idling car contributes to pollution. So this is going to be for all those new listeners out there. This is going to be our fun little segment we call Rapid Fire. Let's start with are we Netflix folks or Amazon Prime folks? Netflix. Netflix. Amazon Prime for me. Are we beach folks, mountain folks? Definitely beach. Surf or turf? Well, it's surf of course. Okay. Surf okay. and turf. That's surf what they make turf. it for. Right. Well, this looks like a great coffee place. How's my hair? Sassy. Great. All right. Well. well thanks for stopping, Cole. Absolutely. I'm a big fan of coffee. And we jumped in and did not go through the drive through So this I'm man. considering that a lesson learned. I hear that it's Air Quality Awareness Week. Is that, is that this week? Is that coming up? What do we got? Actually, uh, Air Quality Awareness Week starts the 29th of April and runs all that week. What does Oklahoma do for Air Quality Awareness Week? Well, we do a series of, uh, of uh, tweets and uh, I'm not very much into social media, but we have a lot of social media type things that we do that uh, educate the public and then we'll have some things on our website and uh, do some internal things as well. But what are some of the things that I can do as maybe a individual well, for we're air doing quality one awareness? Right now, Cole. Yeah. Carpooling. Hey, carpooling, all right. I think that guy's gonna drive on both sides. I think of the road. he's trying, yeah. That's Maybe we could get some road rage captain <laughs> on film where that'd be, that'd be pretty cool. That'd be something you don't see every day. Exactly. Especially on ozone days, um, you know, p p combining uh, chores and trips and that sort of thing into one big trip so that you don't have to make multiple, um, uh, retrace the same ground to, to get all your chores done during the day. And, you know, where you can take uh, public transportation or walk or carpool, anything to avoid driving vehicles. Uh, on ozone days. Are oh, you from Calumet? Oh yeah. We uh, we have had one stoplight. I say had because it got taken down by a combine about to 15 years ago and it never made it back up. So what kind of what kind of books are we into? Are we book people? Well, I like mysteries. Mysteries? Alright. I'm more of a Terry Brooks and a uh, the Game of Thrones, Tolkien, oh, that sort of thing. Yeah, the classics. There's like a hundred different characters you got to think about. Yep. No spoilers here. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll keep my mouth shut. If you, had, no if you hadn't seen it by now, you're out of luck. <laughs> so I tell you. I, you deserve I, what you get. Our meeting's just right around the corner here. 
great. Pulled up just right here. <laughs> like a park and walk. <laughs> park and walk. Right. Trip chaining. Boom. And that is Carpool Conversations with Cole.